18th August Thursday 2022 The gospel passage for our meditation is taken from the Gospel of Saint Matthew chapter 22 verses 1 to 14 At that time again Jesus spoke to chief priests and elders of the people in a parable saying The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast but they would not come again he sent other servants saying tell those who are invited see i have prepared my dinner my oxen and my fat cows have been slaughtered and everything is ready come to the wedding feast but they paid no attention and went or one to his farm another to his business while they received his servants treated them shamefully and killed them the king was angry and he sent his troop and destroyed those murderers and burned their city then he said to his servants the wedding feast is ready but those invited were not worthy go therefore to the main roads and invites to the wedding feast as many as you find and those servants went into the roads and gathered all whom they found both bad and good so the wedding hall was filled with guests but when the king came in to look at the guest he saw he saw there a man who had no wedding garment and he said to him friend how did you get in here without a wedding garment and he was speechless then the king said to the attendants bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many were called but few are chosen thus is the gospel of the lord what can a royal wedding party tell us about god's kingdom one of the most beautiful images used in the scripture to depict what heaven is like is the wedding celebration and royal feast given by the king for his newly wed son and bride why does jesus parable of marriage feast seem to focus on an angry king who ends up punishing those who refuse his invitation and who mistreated his servants jesus parable contains two stories the first has to do with the ordinary guest invited to the marriage feast the king had sent out invitations well in advance to the subjects so they would have plenty of time to prepare for coming to the feast how insulting for the invited guest to then refuse when the time of the first has to do with the original guest invited to the marriage feast the king had sent out invitations well in advance to his subjects so they would have plenty of time to prepare for coming to the feast how insulting for the invited guests to then refuse when the time for celebration came they made light of king's request because they put their own interest above his they not only insulted the king but the heir of the throne as well the king's anger is justified because they openly refused to give the king the honor he was due jesus directed this warning to the jews of his day both to convey how much god wants them to share in the joy of his kingdom but also give a warning about the consequence of refusing his son their messiah and savior the second part of the story focuses on those who had no claim on the king and who would have never have considered getting such an invitation the good and the bad along the highway certainly refer to the gentiles non jews and to sinners this is certainly an invitation of grace and deserved and merited favor of kindness this is certainly an invitation of grace and deserved and merited favor and kindness but this invitation also contains a warning for those who refuse it or who approach the wedding feast unworthily god's grace is a free gift 
but it is also an awesome responsibility may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen